We got two sandwiches. The lunch sandwich was like a turkey cheese with pesto. It was so good. And then we also got the avocado toast, which is basically the same thing, but instead of having turkey, they have avocado instead. And I don't know, that was delicious because I was hungry and it's the first meal I had for the day. So I really enjoyed it. We also got two drinks. I got the ube latte. It looked really pretty before. It has this nice purple color and you can really taste the ube in it. It's perfect for the winter. It's like the perfect go-to drink. Two seatings. It's really loud out in the streets of New York, but inside it's pretty tiny. It only has two seats in there. And then uh, you go to the very back where you have a counter to order food. But even though it's so tiny, it's really nice. It feels very homey. And they also decorate it with a lot of plants. They used a lot of pothos, so it trailed down to give a really nice effect. And also on the outside, they did a really good job in the entrance, just decorating it with uh, plants. So when you walk by, it really stops your eye to take a look at it. Since there's not much seating inside, they actually built a shed uh, right in front of their doorsteps where you can also sit and eat and drink. The outdoor shed is perfect if you like to go people watching as you eat. It's perfect. You're right on the streets of New York. We didn't get to eat the second cupcakes that we came here for. I still recommend this place. It's really good. spaces where you can look at plants to buy to bring home and then also you can make a bouquet of flowers if you wanted to in the center there's like a cafe where you can order some food so because it's so cold today I decided to order a matcha tea this is so hot it's perfect for today and we're still in the midst of winter in New York City 
really cold and this tea really hits the spot. Right, we're sitting outside of Francia where they have like a kind of secluded area where people can sit and just chill. And inside there's also like a large table where you can sit as well. This is actually one of five locations that they have. This one is the one between Bowery and Prince Street. Right around the corner, you can't miss it. It's full of plants. And it also says Plant Shed in really big letters. Um, if you're interested, I think they have another one on 2nd Ave. And then a few more in Englewood. And you can go on their website to check out the other locations. But I highly recommend this one because it's right in front of the new museum. So if you're here on like a museum tour or something, and you're here to check out the new museum, definitely come here and just like chill a little bit. for a plant shed. This one is on East 12th Street and 2nd Ave. We already went into the other location of plant shed, so we're not gonna go to this one. that's in Union Square Farmer's Market and it's my go-to spot for plants. Did you just see the prices in there? It's so cheap. We gotta come here again because I think Chucky wants to get one of the big rubber trees for $35 only. We get a rubber tree so definitely coming back but we gotta go somewhere else first. And the sun came out. And the sun came out. Oh my god so nice. <laughs> Oh, she's not going to 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 Oh, she's not going to
this is so good. I'm so glad we found this place. So the name of this place is called Ariston Florist. And even on Google Maps, you can't really tell that it's a cafe until you step inside. Um, for me, this was like a really good hidden gem that we just found as we were walking the streets. I saw the orchids and I was like, damn, I have to go in here. On top, there's a glass hand railing where there's more seats. This is a very comfortable spot to just sit here and chill. Like it has really nice vibes. It's full of people studying and doing work here, which is pretty interesting. So I guess it's a pretty popular spot that people just come to and just do their work. And it's also a good spot for us to just grab a quick bite. They have hot food like the ham and cheese that I have right here. They also have the spinach pie and other things. Because there were so many people, when we saw an empty spot, we just grabbed it and got a drink and something to eat. I didn't really get to explore the space. So after I finish this, I'm going to walk around and see what goodies they have. <laughs> the spot had a bigger space for the cafe and the flower shop. I would say the only downside was the fact that it was a little bit loud because there were more people and also the plants were pricier which I kind of expected. For the plant shed it has multiple locations in the city. The urban backyard had a more cozy and laid-back vibe and hands down they had the best food options. I'm still thinking about that pesto right now. I feel like each cafe brought something unique to the table. Let me know which cafe was your favorite. I feel like plant cafes should be a trend. I really enjoyed spending the day eating good food and appreciating nature in the concrete jungle. We eventually went back to the farmer's market, but unfortunately someone bought the rubber tree that Chucky was eyeing for, so we ended up getting two new baby plants instead. I really hope you enjoyed our plant cafe hopping experience. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe to help this channel grow. We are planning to visit more plant cafes for our epic trip to Japan, Thailand, and Hong Kong next month, and you definitely don't want to miss that, so turn on your notifications for Feline Jungle channel. See you next time! Bye!